Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Cyanide here, back again with another Grand Theft Auto 5 Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to create this awesome checkerboard modded outfit after the latest patch of 1.48, or aka the casino update. And yes guys, keep in mind, this is another transfer glitch, so you guys will lose all of your modded outfits or any outfits that you guys have saved. So I recommend you guys equipping one of the outfits you guys want to keep before starting this glitch. And uh, yes guys, um, a lot of you guys have been struggling on how to like transfer the female outfits to the male character, and I'll be showing you guys on how to hit it 100 and how to like you know transfer it transfer over to the male character so yes guys without further ado let's start all right guys so the first thing you guys want to do you guys want to go to any clothing store or your apartment anywhere where you guys could save your outfits so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna go inside the store and save the outfit i want to keep and make sure i'm equipping it before doing this glitch as you guys can see on your screen right now i'm gonna i'm gonna scroll down and i'm gonna delete the outfit that i want so yes guys i'm gonna keep this one right here so once you guys equip the outfit you guys want to keep you guys want to go to options go to online then go to swap character you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have to create a female character once again so yes guys help me i'll see you guys when i'm done create um customizing it Alright guys, so once again, you guys are going to have to watch the casino intro, don't worry, it will not mess up the glitch, and again, I'll see you guys when it's over. Alright guys, so as soon as you guys spawn in, the first thing you guys want to do, check the map, make sure, you, make sure you guys have a clothing store, if you guys do not have a clothing, clothing store, that may be the problem why the outfits are not transferring, so you guys are going to have to unfortunately delete this um, female character and create a new one, so yes guys, and like once you guys create a new one, the first thing you guys should see is that you guys will have a clothing store this that time, so yes guys, that's probably, why the re that's probably the reason why the outfits are not transferring, I think you guys need to get the clothing store on the first try, so yes guys, I'll see you guys when I'm in the clothing store. Alright guys, so as soon as you guys made it to the clothing store, you guys want to go to tops, go to designer t-shirts. It should be number, where is it at? It should be number 27, I believe. Then go to, click on the gold shiny top, which will be number 67, which will be the last one. Then from there, you guys want to go to the pants section. You guys want to go to skirts. Then, when you once you guys are on skirts, go all the way down until you see the gray mini skirt. It should be this one right here. The gray mini skirt. And then when you guys equip to that, you guys want to go to this uh, shoes section. <clears throat> so yes, guys, I'll see you guys when I'm there. All right, so once you guys are here, you guys want to go to sneakers. Click on the second one, the pink plain high tops. Once you guys equip to those, go to accessories. And right here, this is where you guys are going to get the handcuffs and the racing gloves. So take off the earrings first. And for the handcuffs, you guys are going to have to go to uh, chains. And then go to gold dex necklace. You guys don't have to buy it, but if you guys want the handcuffs, go for it. So you guys, I'm gonna buy it. Now go to gloves and go to number four, light woolen tactical gloves. That's to merge the racing gloves. So you guys, at this point, you guys had completed the outfit. It's already done. So you guys want to go to the front counter and just save it. It doesn't matter what you guys name it. Just name it anything. So you guys, I'm, once I'm done naming it, all you guys gotta, all you guys gotta do. All right. So once you guys are done naming it, you guys want to go to style. Well, click on the outfit and then you guys should see on the bottom on the bottom right corner uh orange loading screen so yes guys as soon as you guys see the orange loading screen that means that the outfit is saved now go to options go to online 
and go to creator you guys are gonna have to create a race but don't worry i'll show you guys how so i'll see you guys when it loads up all right guys so as soon as you guys load in you guys want to go to create a race go to land race your screen will zoom out so and then it's going to zoom back in and then once it zooms in you guys want to go to map and go to the airport because it's like the easiest way on you know how to create the race so you guys want to like put it anywhere like where you guys want but i'm going to choose the airport then when you guys spawn just fill in like the race details like the title description and you know just just the things that you need so you guys take a photo of anything doesn't matter and then right here you guys want to put the maximum players to three keep it standard and make it to point to point then go to placement place the trigger anywhere doesn't matter i'm gonna place right here lobby camera once again doesn't matter checkpoints all right so the checkpoints this is like the fastest way on how to do it well not the fastest but you know this is how i do it i just put it right there just like you guys don't have to put the checkpoints like the same way i'm putting them i'm just putting them like this because it's faster in my opinion we're already at 40 mi you guys got to get to 1.00 we're at 52 just put it anywhere once again and uh, when you guys are done when like you guys reach the 1 1.00 mi just test the race but if you guys get an option of uh primary track or secondary track just test the primary track and uh yes guys i'll see you guys when i'm done testing the race Alright guys, so as soon as you guys are done testing it, just accept this alert. Now click options as fast as possible. Go to online and you go to choose character. This part right here, you guys are going to have to delete the female character. So I'll see you guys once I deleted it. Alright guys, so as soon as you guys delete it, you guys want to pr press circle to return back to story mode. And I'll see you guys when I'm back in story mode. Alright guys, so once you guys want in, go to online and then start up an invite only session. I don't know what happens if you start up a public session. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to try it. So yes guys, do it at your own risk if you guys want to. But yes guys, in this video, I'm going to be going into an invite only session. And I'll see you guys once again when I spawn in. Alright guys, so as soon as you guys spawn in, the first thing you guys want to do is save the outfit that you guys are currently wearing, which is the outfit you guys wanted to keep in the beginning of the video. So yes guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this clothing store and save it. Once again, just, you know, it doesn't matter what you name it, this is your personal outfit that you guys wanted to keep, so just name it whatever you guys want to. Alright, so as soon as you guys saved it, you guys want to go to outfits, scroll the way down until you see biker suits then just purchase the black biker suit if you guys don't have it already once you guys purchased it go to style accessories and go to gear make sure you guys have an earpiece if you guys don't just go to the gun store and buy it and then now once you guys have the biker suit go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and start up crypt crooked cop then when you guys load it up you guys want to go to clothing and change it to player owned change it to player owned and just invite a friend or someone random and I'll get back to you guys as soon as someone joins all right so as you, as you guys can see someone just joined all right so what you guys want to do now when you guys load up you guys want to scroll the way to the bottom which will be where your personal outfits are saved at I'll show you guys right now I'm pretty sure everybody knows but yes guys just go to owned outfits 
and scroll to the right and you guys should see this awesome checkerboard with the highest cover on the torso with the racing gloves and the handcuffs it also has the racing boots but you can't see it from this angle so i'll show you guys when like i load up All right, so once you guys are here to save the outfit, all you guys got to do is open up the style, uh, open up the interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and go to gear and hit and hit once to the left. So style, accessories, once to the left. I'm sorry if I, if I did that quick, just like, you know, just go back if you guys didn't see that. But make sure you guys go to the left, not to the right, because if you guys go to the right, you guys are going to put on the reef breather. I'm not sure if it's going to mess up the glitch, but I, I usually just put on the earpiece. So you guys just go to like the clothing store. You guys won't be able to go inside the clothing store. So you guys are just going to have to back out. So just back out through your phone. Let me do a little emote. Alright, just go back to go, to go to your phone and just quit the job. And I'll see you guys once I spawn in. Alright guys, so as soon as you guys spawn in, you guys should see that checkerboard outfit. And then you guys just go to any clothing store or apartment, doesn't matter, just anywhere where you guys can save it and save this outfit. We are almost done guys, don't worry, we're almost done. Alright, so once again, just save the outfit. I'm sorry if I keep on repeating myself. Save the outfit before removing the earpiece. So, so like if you remove the earpiece and put on the reef breather, it will like, you know. So yeah, just go to style, remove the um, earpiece, and put on a uh, put on the standard armor. That's if you guys want it. You guys at this point, you guys can put any combinations you guys want. Components, I mean. So yes, guys. All right, now just um, if you guys want the same outfit, like the same um, mask that I put on, I went to uh, high coveralls and I put on the chem chemical mask. So yes, guys. At this point, you just go do the telescope glitch, and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alright guys, so as soon as you guys are here, you guys want to run to it and right on the d-pad and it should glitch out your player. Then go to an in, uh, interaction menu, go to style, and click on the outfit that you guys want. And as you guys can see, that the chemical mask will glitch on. And then just run once again. And then from here, I accidentally messed up, but it still worked at the end. So you guys just put on the black helmet, the black um, combat helmet, or bulletproof. So you guys just put on this one, walk away, and then run back to the telescope, and now equip the outfit, the checkerboard outfit. Now just equip the checkerboard outfit. And boom, there. It should glitch on. So you guys, at this point, we're, we are done with the outfit. Again, you guys can add any components you guys want to, but this is how I did mine. So you guys, just go ahead and save it again. All right, so I'm gonna save it at the masks. It looks really try hard. It looks good. All right, guys. So this has been it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yes, guys, let me know like what other combinations or components you guys added to this outfit. And uh, it's been it. Peace.